there, guys and gals. Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and it is with sheer joy and true, honest-to-God anticipation that I welcome you to Episode 1 of Judgment, Apocalypse Survival Simulation. So, in case you missed it, we did do a first look or first impressions video of this game a few days ago when it released on Steam as early access. So this is not a completed title and there, it's very evident with some of the things in the game. I mean, it's clearly marked. It says it's coming soon, <laughs> like some of the research options. So there's some things we can't research and of course build. So there's going to be some clear holes in this, but uh, I got to tell you, I've been playing it probably another three to four hours since we did our first look and I really like it. I really like it. I also like that it's very, very tough. And I even sent the developer an email saying, Please make sure, no matter what anybody says, it's okay to have a hard game. Have multiple levels of difficulty. But I like a challenge. I really like a challenge. Especially with a colony builder, this is essentially a survival colony builder with some twists. Some really awesome twists. Instead of zombies, um, there's demons. And not just demons, there's like werewolves and... and leeches and succubi and some crazy 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 den denizens of the underworld so it makes it makes this game unique and flavorful and the art style is delightful i know great word delightful but anyway um let's let's just get this going if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the game i encourage you to go look at the first look because i think we covered most of the basics on this and like i said i haven't played it that much maybe another four or five hours enough to know that this is going to be tough um but super fun okay so let's just read the intro here while out camping, four of you were attacked. I have to do the voice, by the way, guys. While you were out camping, four of you were attacked by a single powerful creature. Together, you barely managed to take it down. But Ned, Ned didn't make it. <laughs> Poor Ned. All round, every time I play this, Ned. All round, more eyes told of awful things looming in the shadows. You grabbed your supplies and made your way back to town, only to find it has been overrun, burning under a red sky. The apocalypse has begun. The three of you made your way to a nearby hidden valley that you used to hike to. It seems safe for now. You should set up camp, start with a shelter, a place to eat and rest, build a log cabin with a f with a food table and a bed. So that's it. That is the premise of the game, and uh, yeah, it's 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 kind of got a little tutorial. So basically, the tutorial is saying right now our mission is to build a log cabin, food table, and bed, and it will continue to sort of request that we do certain things. And I'm not sure. Here's okay. So before we go get going, I'm not sure. I'm going to pause it here because this is in real time. I'm not sure in my experience playing this game, like I said, only about four or five hours. If it is, I have not been attacked until I started messing around with the world map and until I started actually leaving my little safety camp. And if that's the case, now this may not be true. You may eventually get attacked anyway. But I, until I actually started leaving and doing missions outside of my little camp, I haven't been attacked. So I'm going to try and sort of stay, I'm going to be a little reclusive in this game and try to stay close to home as long as possible to build up our colony and train some of our guys in combat. It's because it gets tough. As soon as you start getting attacked at home and you're not prepared for it, it's tough. <laughs> this is a serious, serious, serious resource management game. And I say that because... I mean, it's unreasonable. It almost seems unreasonable when you start to see the amount of stuff that you need to have to build things. So, for example, a log cabin requires 30 wood, um, which may not sound like a lot, but it's every individual tree is one piece of wood. So you, one guy is going to go hack, 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 get a piece of wood. Hack, 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 get a piece of wood. And it can take, it can take a long time to get 30 pieces of wood. Now, the thing that makes it easier is skill. Right? So what you want to try and do is make sure that your people, August, Tom, and Maya, 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 yeah, um, you want to make sure that your people are sort of specialized. So um, if you've got a person that's really good at uh, building, you want to focus, make sure that nobody else does any building, just that person. Now, uh, and of course, same with gathering, you know, everybody should have a little bit of gathering skill, but most likely you're going to have two people that are primarily gatherers. You're going to have one person that's primarily doing research and farming, stuff like that. Um, and as they get better, for example, instead of hack, 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 one piece of wood, hack, 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 one piece of wood, you'll occasionally get, oh, two pieces of wood or even three pieces of wood from one tree. So it's very, very important to start building up those, those skills by focusing your people. So right off the bat, you start with a procedurally generated map. It is a rather small map. I would love to see this grow. But, um, yeah, so there should be a well somewhere around here, and I like to start my camp near the well. I don't know if it's possible to start without a well. I suppose it is. <laughs> that could be, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, so 
I don't like where it's located. We can actually build a new one and we probably will, but we want to be relatively close to that well because that's going to be pretty important. So first things first, let's look at our people. We've got August. August um, comes before September. And she, oh, she's a geek. Oh, oh wicked. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so geek gives her plus two in science. Oh, spectacular. And minus one combat, minus one gathering. So this is not, this is this is going to be our scientist. She's probably going to do farming too as well because I found that farming and science is good is a good combination. You'll see why later. And she's athletic, which gives her plus one to so we, she gets minus one to combat and plus one to combat. So actually that works out well. And minus twenty nutrition, which means she's all she's never going to be a hundred percent nutrition. She's going to eat more. Which is, yeah, you know, I mean, it is what it is. So let's set her up right away so we can set up her list of priorities. She is primarily going to be a farmer. I know, it sounds weird, right? Because, but farming and science, for me, I find that that build works fairly well. So farming and research, and we might move things around a little bit later, just, you know, as things go. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But um, that's a good start for her. And then let's look at Tom. Ah, oh, Tom is a hippie. And hold on, Maya, weirdo. Okay, so actually, I made a promise to somebody. Hold on. <laughs> we'll like, take a look at that in a second. I do have some names, just random names from the from commenters, you know, especially around around these these videos and stuff. So we have Patchouli. Patchouli asked to be be a weirdo. So yeah, there we go. There we go, Patchouli. You finally get to be a weirdo. So she, the weirdo is good at occult. Oh, fantastic. Not so good at crafting and is a little bit weaker. So Patchouli, actually, that's that's great. Um, you're going to be our, so occult is kind of like research. You get occult points for working, pardon me, for sort of uh, chanting, you know, demonic things at a, at a little ritual place. So, and also um, being high, you can also cast these rituals or like dark magic. So there's dark magic in this game. So definitely occult research, but we're not going to put that as number one. She's going to be doing a lot of probably quarrying and, and uh, fetching water, well, that's, I don't know, we're, we'll put chop trees actually for now up top. They're definitely higher in gathering and stuff. So, hmm, chop trees, quarry, uh, that's that's fine for now. That's fine. And then we've got uh, Tom, who's going to be, actually, I have a name for you, Tom. You, sir, are going to be Skyflare, because that seems like kind of a hippie name. Skyflare, Skyflare, another commenter on the channel, just recently said how much he loves me. <laughs> and I love you too, buddy. And here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> you get to be a hippie. Although, I'm sorry if you die. I'm so sorry if you die. Now, the hippie is actually a really good one, except for one thing. So you get farming, crafting, gathering, occult. Oh, wow. That is a, that's a lot of good stuff. Wow. <laughs> But combat minus three, which is terrible. So that just means the base is way lower. So he's going to have to raise himself three points in combat before he's actually even zero. Does that make sense? You can't go below zero, but it's going to take four points of combat skill for him to get to one. So Sky Flare, the hippie, is never going to do any combat for us. But he's actually pretty good. He's going to make a good crafter, actually. Let's make him our crafter. He's not going to be a farmer. I know that seems counterintuitive, but... He's not going to be a farmer. Well, he might be later. I don't know. That's good to have good to have that in our back pocket. Primarily, you're going to be a gatherer. Actually, primarily you're going to be a crafter. Crafter and then gathering. So, like things like chopping trees, uh fetching water, which we'll put down here a little bit, mining, quarrying, all that stuff is going to be near the top. All right. And then August, I have a name for you August, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry I know this is a guy, but that's okay. You get to be the lubernator. Hold on. Lunar Bader, sorry. <laughs> He's the one. He actually really wanted me to do this this uh, this series. So, yeah, there you go. You get to be, um, you're a geek and you're athletic. I mean, that's a weird combination, isn't it? A geek and athletic, an athletic geek. That's awesome, actually. So, anyway, it kind of ba balances out. You get to be our research farmer. So, right on. Away we go, guys. I have to remember these names, though. So, Skyflare is going to be our crafter. And probably, yeah, let's make, let's make Skyflare our builder, too. Or should we make... No, Patchouli gets to be our builder. Yeah, so Patchouli, I'm going to put building up at the top here for you. So anytime we have a build, something to build, Patchouli's going to, that's, he's right after he, sleeping and eating, Patchouli's going to build something. And then Skyflare, right after sleeping and eating, he's going to craft something. And then Lunar Bader, right after eating or sleeping, you're going to farm. And then when you're done farming, you're going to do scientific research. Are you with me? All right, good. <laughs> so first things first, of course, you're trapped out in the woods. What's the first thing you need to do? Well, you need to build some shelter. So let's get that out of the way. Um, I generally go with the larger log cabin. There is a smaller one, and it requires only 10 less wood, but it's, it's way smaller. So this has six workable spots in it. Uh, as opposed to four, and it's, it makes a huge difference, especially at the beginning. So we're going to have this fairly close to the water. I think right there. Ah, right there. 
that's good. Okay, yeah, and all these helpful tutorials, it's great. And so our builder, who's our builder again? Our builder is, I have to remember here, our builder is gonna be Patchouli. That's right, Patchouli likes to build stuff. I know Patchouli, so yeah, he likes to build stuff. And then uh, we're gonna start gathering the stuff that's farthest away from our camp first, just to kind of get the hard stuff out of the way at the beginning, because um, you don't want, I mean, we're gonna clear this map. So every time we start, it's a procedurally generated map and it's always different. Um, we're going to grab as much wood as we possibly can at the beginning here because wood is so important. And uh, so it's basically a random bunch of stuff on the map. There's wood and uh, wood so important. And then there is clay that's like right here. And then there is stone. And then there is metal, which we can't take yet. And then there's these little uh, old camps that we can actually scrap for stuff. And it's also using the... Uh, the uh, the uh, blah, 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 the gathering skill too as well and all of these as you get better at gathering of course they will start to collect more and more stuff and collect it faster get getting those skills up is so important in this game so patchouli's already starting to build the cabin see how quickly that got built not crazy okay so now that that's built um, we are going to be speeding it up here as time goes on. I just want to kind of get our foundation down. First things first, we need a bed. And actually, let's take a look at this stuff as we build it. The bed requires scrap, boards, and wool. So if you accidentally built something else using boards and wool, you're hooped. You need a bed. This has to go down immediately. <laughs> like, you have to build that. The food table, again, same thing. It requires bricks. You don't have access to that at the beginning. So you don't screw up. Don't screw up with that. <laughs> And then right away, building the research table is actually a really great thing because we need to get some farming going right away. And taking a look at the research menu, uh, we need to have, just so that we know offhand, we need to have 10 science and that will unlock the vegetable farm. That is our first goal beyond building some basic stuff and gathering some resources. So away we go. Now let's, right away, I'm going to speed this up because, because yeah. So, <laughs> I have to remember, all right, oh, right, learning to farm. You are now have, you now have a base of operations, but you are far from safe. Your supplies won't last forever. If you don't find a, find food food and water source, you won't live long enough to worry about those creatures finding you. Before you can grow your own food, you need to learn how. Build an experiment table and research farming. And that's exactly what we're doing. We've got a research table going, and I think it's Lubernator. Let's just double check this. I need to be sure. Okay, Lubernator is our researcher. He's gonna spend she is going to spend most of her time at this table gathering us research points. So every t oh, that uh, needs. I'm not going to go through all this. So every time that rotates around, we get one research point. And you notice that when they're hungry, they'll automatically go eat, which is great. And this is our total nutrition value. So this isn't how many pieces of food. This is how much nutrition we have available to us. Different types of food provide certain amounts of nutrition. And when they eat, they eat, uh, you know, varying amounts of food to fill up their nutrition bar, which is right here. So as I've learned a lot about food and there's, uh, Food actually is not that scarce, neither is water. We can gather water from the well at any time, but at the beginning, it gathers very, very slowly until you start to build up those gathering skills. And that's exactly what they're doing right now by bringing in all that wood. The first thing we're gonna build, wanna build after that, oh wow, we've already got enough. Hold on, we've already got enough research points to get farming. Wow, that was super fast, super fast. Now to build our first vegetable farm, uh, let's just keep this running slow. To build our first vegetable farm, yes, build first vegetable farm. Uh, we're going to need wood, which we've got lots of, stones, which we had some before, and scraps, which we had before. Now, scraps are found in a variety of different ways. We're going to talk about that in a second. Let's get one of these down. Uh, thing is, if I don't put down two, it's not going to let me finish the tutorial or the missions. I only want to build one. I don't want to build two right now. It, it won't be necessary to build two. Trust me, uh, we can survive on one vegetable farm. It's actually, with only three people, one is enough. But the thing is, we won't move on to the next mission, but that's okay. Actually, I wonder, I, there's, there's, the, there's the two trains of thought I'm having right now. Either it's when you finish the, the basic tutorial missions that you start getting attacked, or it's as soon as you go out and start venturing out of your camp to go attack the, the demons out of the countryside that you start getting attacked. Or maybe it's just completely random. And by say, when I say getting attacked, I mean like getting attacked in our base. So, and I want to hold that that off as much as possible. Now, the last couple games I played, I had finished both the missions and I had just started venturing outside of the camp when I got attacked at my base for the first time. And I gotta tell you, it wasn't a small attack. I got attacked by like, there was there was every demon you could possibly imagine. There was a couple zombies, guys with guns. It was brutal. This is a hard game, guys. It's super hard. So now, 
this is going to be a perfect time to explain why I made our researcher a farmer. Because if your, re if your guy is a farmer and he's gathering, for example, he will go out and he'll he'll try and get to the tree to go gather. Now, the farm requires a lot of attention and always pops up with the little thing right here saying it needs attention. So the, the person that's doing the farm will stop whatever they're doing to go to the farm. So if they're gathering and say I'm trying to gather stuff from this side of the map and Luber, Lunar Bader gets all the way to here and then all of a sudden the farm clicks on, oh, it needs to be dealt with, he'll turn around and come all the way back. So it's best to keep your farmer close to wherever you know, your, your sort of home area. It's making uh, your 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 farmer a gatherer is a total waste of time. Don't do that. It's not worth it. So as you can see, these guys are actually hack, hack, hack very, very slowly. Let's speed this up here. I It's really hard for me to play in slow, slow speed now, but I don't want to miss anything. For, and I don't want you guys to miss anything right now. So as you can see, for every piece of wood that they chop, they get one. They get one. All right. So who's our builder? Patchouli's our builder. Hmm, do we want to start... I'm almost tempted to start planting some stuff too as well. Well, let's see what's next on our list. I would really like to get a workbench going. So let's start working on some of these stones too as well. Stones! Actually, it kind of fits with Patchouli. If you know who Patchouli is, stones. He actually made a video on me. He made some funny, kind of making fun of me videos. And one of them was called Stones. It was really funny. All right, um, Survivor AI. So yeah, uh, we already talked about this. We can set our priority list, just like you can with RimWorld, just a little bit differently. And if you haven't noticed, I love the, the, the art style for these guys is amazing. I actually really love it. It's, it's so different than what you see nowadays. Like somebody hand drew these and then animated them. Like did a motion, like... You know, I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, well done. And I, like I said, I have spoken to the developer a little bit on via email. Uh, they did provide me a copy of this game, by the way, just so that we're, all, all, you know, all, you know, everybody's aware of that. Other than that, they've provided me with nothing else. I just, I genuinely like the game. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Super fun. Okay, so, uh, and we want to get as much of these, the trees and stuff away, as far away from the camp. So get the stuff that's hardest done quickly or first right so let's get rid of these trees up here because later on in the game we don't want to be running around all over the map when we're really short on time or we're being you know about to be attacked or the potential to be attacked all the time we want we want to take care of all this stuff that's difficult to get to early on we can regrow trees but when we regrow them we're going to grow them uh closer to the camp the reason i'm getting rid of these ro rocks here right now is because um Wow, it's still running really slowly, is because these rocks uh, here are kind of in the way of where we're going to be building. And same with these rocks. I really want to plant some trees, but I want to have a good farm. So what I was thinking is actually, and it doesn't cost anything to plant trees. It just takes time for them to grow. They don't have to maintain them or anything. So it's actually a really good deal. And they grow fairly quickly if you think about it in the grand scheme of things. So I could plant this entire thing. This will also improve our builder. Our builder, oh. Survivor is hungry. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So Patchouli, as even building trees, Patchouli will get be better at building. Now, is building really something that we, he really needs to be good at? I don't know. Maybe later on there's buildings that take a really long time or weapons that you can craft that takes a really long time. But I really haven't been faced with anything that takes an enormous amount of time, except for in mass. Like when you're building an entire plant or an entire grove of trees, it does take some time. So Patchouli getting some of that skill, you know, is a really good idea because we are going to be planting a lot of trees. <laughs> Although later on, we can actually, uh, research, you know, rituals, which means we can actually cast spells. For for example, the first ritual we'll get is grow trees ritual. <laughs> so you can actually cast a spell to grow trees. So I've never done it. I've never played around with that stuff, but I know it's a thing. So let's get those trees growing. And what's next? We can actually, oh, crafting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so crafting right away, we can build scraps. We can build scraps out of stones or wood. Total waste of time. Don't do that if you're playing this. Don't build uh, scraps out of stones or wood, at least at the beginning, because you can get scraps from these little camps, and it tells you exactly how much is in there. So out of this rubble, we can get 80 scraps and 7 medicine. And that's at the very least. Now, the higher your guys... The reason I'm not going for these right away is because as our guys get better... We will get more than 80 and 7 because our guys will be more skilled. As a matter of fact, if you read the gathering skill, it even says that, oh, look, we're sciences, our science is already at 4. Um, but it actually says under gathering, oh, hold on, pausing. Okay, our food is low. So we are just, actually, she's just, 
she's just harvesting our first crop of vegetables, which is good, which means we can make some more food. But um, just want to, we'll go this back down to slow here. So you can see under gathering, it actually says how fast a survivor gathers raw materials such as wood, stone, and clay. Higher levels may increase yield. I'll read all of these. How, uh, science is how fast a survivor generates science research points in the experiment table, which is this thing which we've been working on. And we've been getting these points. We're already up to 130. We've got lots of options now. Crafting, how fast a survivor crafts new items and cooks food. Crafting is also cooking. They combined them both. Farming, how efficient a survivor is in planting, harvesting, and tending farms. Higher levels may increase yield during harvest. <laughs> harvest. <laughs> during harvest. So she just got a ton of vegetables. So we can actually, right away, we can tell our crafter to go turn those vegetables into salads. So every salad will provide, you can see the number there. It provides every salad that our crafter makes provides 12 nutrition. Every two vegetables will provide 12 nutrition, which gets added to this. So if we for one salad, that would put us up to 1380 instead of 1368. Does that make sense? And to build it, we can just hold down the shift button and build all of our, turn all of our vegetables, all 44 vegetables into salads, right? Makes sense? And and this will, that'll pump this up to like 3000. That's why I was saying we only need like one vegetable farm. I don't think we need to at the beginning. And, uh, but that does slow down, like that, that does, you know, stop our tutorial missions, which might be good. It might stop us from getting attacked early. I don't know. I don't know if that first attack is uh, for that first attack is is scripted or not. I don't know. Now another thing, we are starting to run low on drinking water. So the downside with drinking water is kind of like research. Um, they will never stop doing it. So let's just pause it for a second. So if I just had, for example, with Lubina, Lu, Lu, Lunar Bader, if I had scientific research here, she would never do anything else other than research science because it's never ending and it's the same with fetch water so if fetch water is right here they will never do anything else other than fetch water so it's going to be one of these things that you rotate so in other words you kind of pick somebody out it doesn't even matter who it is uh patchouli is a bad choice because patchouli is doing uh the building which i kind of want that to be a little bit higher priority so what we're going to do is we're going to set whoops what am i doing <laughs> that is uh, sky flare the hippie the hippie is going to be getting the water <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes sense. I don't know. So basically, we're going to tell him for a while, I want you to go fetch water. And you do that until until I tell you not to do it anymore. Running down to 70 is pretty low. And with only gathering of two, he's going to gather water fairly slow. Again, it's like everything else. For every rotation, you would gather one water. But because he's got gathering two, he's going to get two and three water sometimes, which is kind of good. Yeah. But as they get really good, of course, you get five, six, and this raises up very, very quickly. And we're also using this water for growing too as well. You can see water as time goes on, that water goes down. And every time it hits zero, she comes out and she waters the farm and that water level goes down. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, what's going? Oh, right. So Skyflare is currently crafting all of the, the salad right now. So I guess we're not going to get as much as I had said, but it's, it's going up pretty quick we're gonna hit 2000 pretty easily maybe we build we'll build that second farm but i don't know i don't know i i think we did pretty good we can also craft a club and or bows already um wait a second just a second what uh did i okay hold on i think i yeah okay so fetch water yeah why is why is he not fetching water i told him to fetch water before chop trees uh okay that must be a bug um because uh, on his priority list he's set to fetch water before chopping trees so he should be fetching water wait 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 something's not right here fetch water because crafting is not chopping trees chopping trees is chopping trees oh um he's totally bugged why i don't understand hold on um hmm uh, does he not know where? Oh, because I haven't actually set this to fetch water. That's right. So what? Actually, that's a great idea. I hadn't even thought of that. Okay, so rather than managing my priorities so closely, in other words, always switching this up, if I if I always want Sky, Sky Flare to fetch water, I can just leave that here. And then when I want water, I'll just turn on the well. That makes more sense. What I was doing before, so just to explain myself, what I was doing before that um, is actually I would just come in here every once in a while um, with my guys and bring fetch water up to the top. And then when I'm done, we've got enough water, I'd put it down. But I don't need to move that, actually. I'll just manipulate the well. That makes way more sense. <laughs> a lot of you guys are like, of course you do it that way. But I hadn't thought of it. So there we go. So when we're done fetching all the water we want, we just turn that off. There we go. So like I said, every rotation is going to get, oh, we got three. That's good. Four. Oh, wow. Really good. But I think he's already, yeah, gathering up 
to three. That's really good, actually. So you can see that number for drinking water start to go up. Now, if you want to know where your other materials are, they are in base inventory. So that shows you your bread. Bread gives you nutrition of 19. We can eventually make bread, but we don't have it right now, of course. We've got our salad, which gives us nutrition of 12. We do have some vegetables. You cannot eat raw vegetables. You have to turn them into something. There's other foods you can make with vegetables. Uh, of course, our drinking water, our scraps, which we get from all over, and stones, which we have to <laughs> harvest from, of course, these little areas. So there we go. So we've already kind of cleaned off a little area. No more trees over here. That's good. We won't need to clean it all up. Get it all gone. Get gone. Um, these here are metal. And then there is minerals right here. And neither of these we can work on. As a matter of fact, for us to even begin mining these, the, this metal, let's take a look at that. For us to even begin mining metal, we have to have... Uh, to even get metal working, we have to have a piece of metal. So you're like, how do you get metal if you can't, if, how do you get metal if you need metal, if you can't get metal? Well, oh, oh sorry. Um, well, uh, of course the answer is simple. That's a point where you have to start exploring because you can find in various locations, you can actually see what loot is available. Um, there will be, I, I don't need to pause it. Um, there may be metal somewhere. There will be metal somewhere. We just got to find it. Lots of medicine. Ooh, spaghetti <laughs> and toilet paper, cloth. Oh, okay, it's cloth. Could be used as toilet paper. There we go. So here we go at this military base. By the way, <laughs> during my <laughs> during my other video, my first look video, these look like sevens. They do look like sevens. You can't tell me those don't look like sevens. People are like, how could you not? No, you're such a dummy. But those look like sevens. That looks like a seven. But the sevens in the game actually have the line through them. So these aren't sevens, these are ones. So there's only one werewolf, one minor demon, one succubi, or one succubus, sorry, and three imps uh, and 13 scraps. I still get confused by that because it does very much look like a seven. It's a funny font, uh, but we're not going to go out looking for anything right now. We want to keep a low profile and I want to keep these guys moving at a fair speed. Um, I got pretty good at managing this. Um, I'm going to pause it here for a second, actually. You know, I'm thinking maybe I had two herb or vegetable farms in my first game. Maybe I will do two because... It seems like, seems like we're going through food, the, the salad, like the, uh, yeah, we're going through it a little too fast, at least at the beginning here. Maybe it was because I got, my guys got, so, my crafter got so good that we were generating uh, so much food because he was so skilled. So we're going to need more stones to make that happen. All right. So I, my, why is my gatherer going? Oh, because I know why. Okay. So uh, Lunar Bader and Sky Flare, right, and Patchouli. Patchouli, I'd like you to prioritize building trees. No, 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 not building trees. <laughs> um, uh, da -da, quarrying over chopping trees. That'd be great. Get get that stone that's right here because we need that to actually build another farm. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. I'm surprised at how quickly we are, are going through all of this food. It's actually pretty shocking. Also, our farmer gets better too, right? Once our farmer gets better, we'll be producing more of those too as well. Yeah, wow, I can't believe how quickly we're going through that. Okay, so let's build that vegetable farm. We should have that now, perfect, like so. Excellent, and now our farmer will work both of those farms, perfect. Craft two clubs, that is the next thing in our quest. I will read it here, because I don't think I've read this one before. These farms should keep you fed for, and for now, but when your colony grows, you will need to build more farms. Remember, you can't eat raw food. You will need to constantly prepare meals. Keep an eye on your water supply too. Gather, wa gather water from a nearby well when it starts to run low. Now that you have the basic supplies, you should prepare to defend yourself, make some weapons. And it wants us to craft two clubs. Here's the thing, I don't like taking any damage. Now, sometimes I can completely avoid it if I have all ranged weapons. I'm gonna build the two clubs, but my preference is to build bows, but I don't wanna build these plain Jane ordinary bows. We're, we've got enough research points already to start looking at some weapons, some different weapons. So let's go to bow making. And uh, I don't, no, just regular. So this this one here, we've, which we've researched, costs us 25. That gives us access to composite bows, which are quite a bit better, but require a lot of resources to make. And we're also going to research the wheat farm. Uh-oh, uh-oh, pausing. Oh, yeah. So, uh-oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, so I need to slow it down here. So I've been going way too fast. Um, I'm completely out of food. We just got to craft some, uh-oh. Um, we're just going to run this at slow speed. <laughs> um, okay, crafter, I need you to stop and craft. There we go. He's crafting. Whew. 
That was close. So what happens when you run out of food? Well, your guys start, the nutrition goes down and then their health starts to go down and then they either leave or they die. I haven't quite figured out exactly how that works. That's one of the downsides to running really fast is things can change very, very quickly. And what looked like a, again here, I thought, I, you know, maybe I thought I saw 756, but you know, it was like one. It was something like that anyway. <laughs> That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but we should be starting to, what's her farming? Farming's at two, so she's, she stood, should start to produce a fair amount of stuff. Fair amount of vegetables. Um, but yeah, see how quickly it comes back up pretty quickly. Once we get going here, trust me, we're going to have more than enough food. I thought one vegetable farm would be enough, but you know, that's just not the case at the beginning. Maybe later on once her skills get better. All right, so Patchouli, uh, what else? What's our next thing to build on our list? I think the workbench is probably pretty good. That or the training area. I would like to really, I would really like to get started with training. Uh, pretty quickly in this one because yeah I don't know yeah I get my butt kicked very very quickly or what we could do is go after those composite bows which require so here's this is one of the things that's kind of weird in the game so it requires 30 scraps whatever I, I guess I guess that kind of makes sense 30 scraps whatever that's just whatever raw materials you find lying around and 30 wood now if you remember it was 30 wood to build a log cabin Seems a little unreasonable that the same amount of wood goes into a log cabin that goes into a bow. And I think it was a game balance issue why they did that, you know, to make sure, so, you know, you shouldn't be able to build composite bows right away, but I think they should just make the bows take a really, 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 really long time to build. It should actually say, takes, takes 10 minutes for each bow to build or something. And it should only be like maybe 10 pieces of wood, maybe, or five pieces even like they shouldn't, or maybe some special material like the, the wool or whatever, but for it to be the same amount of wood as a log cabin, you either got to change the amount of wood that the log cabin uses, which is really low <laughs> or change the amount of wood that a bow uses. And besides that, when you're building the log cabin, it builds very, very quickly. When you're building a bow, it takes for, or actually, sorry, when you're building a bow, it takes quite a while, not forever. I like I was saying, it should take longer. But when you're build the cabin actually builds faster than a bow, which again, doesn't make sense to me on an entire building. I don't know, some, some funny little quirky things with the game. It doesn't diminish my enjoyment of it, but I'm just saying that there's some funny quirky things. So anyway, Patchouli, you're doing a good job. Uh, I think we probably have enough of that stone. Uh, Patchouli, let's actually change you back to going after that wood that's so far away. Uh, that's my priority anyway, right now. We're gonna need lots and lots of that wood. So let's get back to doing that. Actually, Patchouli, I wanna keep your, I probably shouldn't be messing with this list. I should probably be changing what they're actually, you know, what, what's highlighted to be harvested, but I, I don't know, I don't mind doing that. So as you can see, our drinking water is already back up to 284. Does not take long. So actually what we'll do is we'll do this right away. We'll turn that off. And next time we need water, we'll just turn that back on. Perfect. And let's, oh, uh, food stores. Oh, geez, wow, they just all eat at once. All right, so we should be able to craft. Wow, uh, uh, next time, note to self, build. I thought I thought we were gonna have enough for vegetable farms, my bad. Two, you need to have two. Build, 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 come on. Wow, he will start to eventually start crafting more than just the four. So every time he builds, he builds four, but it should start to craft more. Hopefully, or at least faster anyway. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's so close. Like, our guys are just about starving. All right, um, guys, I'm going to check the time. One sec. We are totally out of time, but we will be back. I'm going to do this every couple days. I'm going to try to do another episode every couple days. <laughs> We're starting slow. <laughs> I think it's important that we start very, very slow here because as soon as we draw some attention from these demons, they are going to be relentless and they, they don't mess around. Like the demons, they just come in from one end and they just come in and they sweep and try to kill everybody all at once. There's no, they don't try to get cover. They don't, no, they just come in and kill you. <laughs> so I think taking it slow is probably a really good plan <laughs> because as soon as it starts to get heated, we could die in an instant. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed episode one of Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulator. And uh, I don't have high hopes for Lunar Baiter, Skyflare, or Patchouli, but there is that small piece of hope that maybe these will be the three that survive the apocalypse. Only time will tell. Take care. <laughs>